What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the JJW Sports Talk Show where every fan is welcome and today we're going to be going over the Seattle Seahawks signing Jacob Eason, former Colts quarterback, former Washington Huskies football player. So let's get into talking about a little bit. So Colts released Jacob Eason a few days ago because, you know, he had his chance in week two against the Rams and he blew it, you know, and then, you know, we didn't see him in Baltimore. He, he wasn't even in Baltimore with the Colts. He wasn't in Houston. It was quite evident then that Jacob Eason wasn't going to last much longer in this Colts roster. Now, the Colts team, the Colts co coaching staff, did not believe he was up to the standards better than Hundley, Ellinger. We're not up to the standards. We're not and would not be able to be the Colts' back quarterback or a quarterback in any form on this team. The Colts did. Plan on bringing bringing him back on the practice squad, but did not happen. Did not make him through waivers, and the Seattle Seahawks pick up former Indianapolis Colts quarterback Jacob Eason. Now there were many reports that came out through his tender with the Colts that Jacob Eason just did not work hard. You know his work ethic is not. You know he just doesn't. He's he, he's just not that franchise leader that you're looking for. He doesn't compose himself as a franchise guy as a leader. He just doesn't. You know, and with some guys, it's either you have that or you don't. And Jacob Eason does not. So, the Indianapolis Colts stuck with a more instinctive and a guy that can lead a team, a guy that can put a team on his shoulders and, you know, compose himself as a starting quarterback. Brett Hundley as well. So, the Seahawks, you know, Russell Wilson's still going to be out for a little while. He's still on IR, but nonetheless... I think I think Russ will be will be back sooner than people think. You know that's a Russ thing. Russ isn't going to be out as long as six to eight weeks. He's not going to be. If he isn't, I'll I'll be surprised. You could hold me to it, because Russ he comes back quick. He's tough. Nothing keeps him out keeps him out long. I want to you know I I want to see how he's going to perform when he comes back as well. But until then, the Seahawks need a guy to really be able to do something. You know. Geno Smith had his chance. Then you know, granted, he played a really damn good defense, and he played an okay game. Would have liked to see more, like to see more, but it's okay, you know. But the Seattle Seahawks just don't see them be able to win many games with them if they're bringing in Jacob Beeson and and then and then they reach out to Cam Newton. Just goes to show. So let me know what you Seahawks fans think about. The Seattle Seahawks signing Jacob Eason. Do you think he's probably going to start over Geno Smith? I think so. You know, I think you take him off a of waiver. Or maybe he's just going to be a backup. We don't know. So, let me know what you guys think of this situation. Do you think Eason's going to start over Geno Smith? Let me know you guys' thoughts. I thank you guys for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show where every fan is welcome. Hope you had a great day. Have a great night. Whatever time it is where you are. I hope you're doing well. And thank you for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like. Put the subscribe button on. Nope. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and put the and put the post notification bell on. And, and you and y'all have a great day, and night. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time.